Let's compare every single small track to remotely controlled LEGO Technic set. There have been a total of three vehicles. We got the Track Racer in 2017, the Stunt Racer of 2019, and finally the Transformation Vehicle of 2021. The latter is physically the biggest one out of all of them. We will be looking at a speed test, a comparison of the off-road performance, which includes climbing capabilities, and we will also compare the playability. First, the speed test. It is clear that the Transformation Vehicle is easily the slowest one. So, let's compare the Stunt Racer and the the track racer. They are similar in speed, but the 2019 stunt racer definitely wins the speed test. Now comes the fun part. Let's take a look at the off-road performance. The stunt racer of 2019 is actually the worst one in this category. It is designed to be capable of wheelies, so the center of gravity is all the way at the back, instead of the middle. This results in the set constantly leaning backwards and losing traction. The wheelie feature is quite fun on flat surfaces, but it is very bad for off-roading. It can go over minor obstacles, but it's definitely not that fun to play in the rough terrain. The tracks do get some supports, but they do not move in any way, shape, or form. We also get two large motors, one is responsible for driving each track, and we also get a gear ratio of 1 over 1. Unfortunately, we do not see an increase in either the torque or the speed. The track racer of 2017 performs much better because its center of gravity is much lower and closer to the middle. Despite using two medium motors without any gear ratios, it surprisingly has a good amount of power. Of course, it will occasionally get stuck, but still much better performance than the stunt racer. It will also get a few supports on the chassis, but they really don't help much. The transformation vehicle is even better in terms of off-roading. It's got a large motor driving each track. Furthermore, each track has a gear ratio of 3 over 5, which increases the torque. While this set can get stuck occasionally, it still performs better than the other two. It also gets oscillating boogies, which help a lot in the rough terrain. This set gets increased traction, which results in incredible climbing capabilities. Just look at that. It climbs the wooden plank absolutely flawlessly. The 2017 track racer simply does not have enough grip to climb the wooden plank. And the same thing goes for the stunt racer. Let's make the surface more grippy with a blanket. The stunt racer still doesn't stand a chance because of the center of gravity being all the way at the rear. The track racer does climb a little better, but it still loses traction and it never made it to the top. So, I would say that the clear winner for the off-road performance is the transformation vehicle. If you would like to uncover all the secrets of LEGO Technic, such as early reviews, comparisons, and more, then make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. If you subscribe, you are the king of LEGO Technic. But what about the playability? Both the Tract as well as the Stunt Racer use a physical remote, while the Transformation Vehicle uses a smartphone. We get Bang Bang controls with power functions, while Powered Up receives proportional controls. The Powered Up system gets the capability of having completely custom controls, as well as programming capabilities with Pi Bricks. The Transformation Vehicle has a hub that uses four screws, which makes it a pain to replace the batteries. The Tract Racer seems like the most basic one in terms of playability, but it does have an openable top, which makes the vehicle pretty interesting and the top can be easily modified. It does perform in rough terrain surprisingly well. The 2019 remote controlled stunt racer though gets the wheelie feature. While it is fun, I personally prefer the greater off-road capabilities offered in the 2017 model, so the track racer beats the stunt racer in playability. However, the transformation vehicle is easily the best in playability. You simply cannot beat the transformation feature. It is so much fun to play with and it never gets old. The climbing capabilities are the best of the three, so the transformation vehicle is the king of playability. The remote controlled stunt racer had the best value though. For just $100, you got the ultimate power functions pack, a good amount of tracks and more. The transformation vehicle is $140, but it does get a lot more features. Still, I do believe that the Power Functions versions had a better value for the money. If you would like to see my review of the App Controlled Transformation Vehicle, then click on the video right over here. This is your Unbrick Me here, and I'll see you in the next one.